Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. So today I'm going to share with you my first haul of goodies from the new Stampin' Up! catalogue. Now I'm a bit behind everybody else. I have been out of the country uh, for a number of weeks and so uh, I was able to look at the electronic copy of the catalogue uh, but not the paper one. So I did do my pre-order. I'm allowed to do that as a demonstrator. I can order a month ahead of time. Although there's a limited number of, of things that I could choose from. And so I thought today that I would share with you what my choices were. So the first thing to be excited about is our new colours. So we have new in colors we get five new ones each year and they last for two years and then they retire so these are our gorgeous selection this year the real surprise is that pretty in pink is back now this was a core color for a lot of years um, I've been a demonstrator for nearly 14 years and this one always seemed to be around until a couple of years ago when it was retired. But it is back and it is a gorgeous pink and I think it's going to go beautifully with this petunia pop. And then we've got some lovely greens. This reminds me of spearmint. I don't know why pink and that green reminds me of spearmint, but it does. So we have those new five colours. I have got the coordinating ribbons. If you watch my videos, you know I do love my ribbons. And I've also got the markers. So that's my one, number one. Oh, and of course, I have got my ink pads. So since I only got back into the country the day before yesterday, it's now Wednesday and we got back Monday night. I haven't actually had an opportunity to do anything. Uh, but I will be sharing lots of things with you over the coming months. So what else did I choose? Oh, yes, this I must introduce. This is a brand new core colour. It's called Basic Beige. Now, you may remember we used to have a colour called Sahara Sand and that retired a year or so ago. And I loved that colour. It was a gorgeous it went with anything. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you look at our new um, in colours, you can see that they're going to go, any of those are going to go with that lovely new neutral that we have. So as always, I've got the ink and I've got some ribbon. And again, I am going to be cooking up a storm with those. If you follow me, you also know I love sparkle. I love my bling. This is glimmer paper and it is in each of the new in colours. I'm trying desperately here not to blind you because these are so lovely. So we've got, that's that petunia pop. That's pretty in pink. Um, I haven't got my head around these yet, but I think that must be... Summer Splash and Shy Shamrock. And then this one is called Peach Pie. So they're going to be gorgeous to use. And then this one, this is another one. Uh, it's Speciality Paper. And um, let's see what colours. Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight. Oh, all sorts of lovely colours. So it's kind of an ombre effect by the look of it. Hopefully you're able to see that. So we've got sort of our pinks, our blues and mauves. There must be the Cajun Craze. That's lovely because oftentimes Cajun Craze kind of gets overlooked for having accessories. And then we've got some lovely greens and some blues. So I'm looking forward to actually using those as well. And you can see that they have a shimmer. This is why I was attracted to them. So now, what did I get in terms of uh, other papers? So I have got some, um, uh, let's see, joy, Thoughtful Journey. 
So on one side of these, there's like um, an artist's rendition, sort of a watercolour effect. And then I'm thinking on the, oh, this one's nearly open. On the back side, let's see what we've got. Oh, again, very pretty. Good centrepiece for a, a card. So that's another one to look forward to. Um, and then we've got Unbound Beauty. This one looks as though it's going to be a good one. Country Lace. And then I got the masculine one, which is called Take to the Sky. And again, there's these pieces, you can cut them um, up and uh, make card fronts, gift tags. There's a lot going on there. Um, and then I got some embellishments. These are lovely, these sort of silver pearls. And then we've got some other. These are the in colours. And they're just three different colours of pearls. And then there's some of these. These would be good, I'm sure, for fellas cards. So they're kind of little sort of studs. They look interesting. We'll find out how to use those in due course. Right, now then, embossing folders. I love embossing folders. They can take just the tiniest bit of card, ordinary card, and make it absolutely spectacular. So I love them. So this one is a double one, which will you, you can use in the mini cut and emboss machine. You can also use it in the big one as well. Now, here's the scoop. Here is the scoop that I didn't realise until I opened my box. This is a normal size embossing folder, which is like six by six. But look, this new, these new ones, these new ones are eight and eight and a half so you can actually put a width of cardstock let me get that you see look that will actually go a width of cardstock so if you wanted to do a card that it's like a half a half size just one piece of this card folded in half you've got a nice big embossing folder to put your um texture on so that's called the dotted circle. This is the so swirly. So this one is a thick one, a 3D one. And this is just a thinner one, giving you a smaller impression. So those are some embossing folders that I treated myself to. Then I had a couple of bundles. So Unbound Love, lots of lovely sayings. So, you know, sometimes things like with sympathy, happy birthday, best of luck, hope, love, faith, peace, you are loved. This is this is lovely, a lovely selection of greetings there. And then the coordinating dies. Now, I do admit I did take them out of the packet and have a little look, but these will actually work with these these greetings and look there's some lovely little blossoms and leaves ovals oh again that will take a fairly plain card and it would just dress it up fantastically okay i can see i shall be burning the midnight oil trying to catch up with losing using some of these so the next bundle i bought was thoughtful wishes again if you know me you know i do love my florals so we've got some lovely leaves this looks a bit like a thistle and it's got a dotty stamp so watch my other videos for why i love dotty stamps and it's got greetings in a lovely a lovely font so this actually checks all my boxes for a stamp set. Perfect. 
and then we've got some dies so some of them will cut out the stamped images but this one here this one here looks as though it's just going to sort of cut out a decorative outline but we've got leaves so again i'm thinking that that's going to make some lovely uh, projects and then my final was this one now this is it called uh, a hybrid embossing folder and i have done a couple of videos on how to use these this one has you you the stamp set is sold separately again oh it's got another dotty stamp didn't see that one when i ordered it but some nice um sand dollars and a star a couple of starfishes and again some lovely greetings in a lovely font again so perfect and as i say this is what's called um a hybrid embossing folder which basically means if i can just open this up basically means that the embossing folder has been designed to work with the dies and so as i say i have done a couple of videos on how to use these hybrid ones in the past and who knows i could be doing another one sometime soon so here we go and so this will actually match up with the dark the embossing folder so that's another great one so that is what i i received i know now i've got my hands on my book that there's other things that i want to order particularly i want to order the reinkers for the new in colors and one of the things that i do when i get my new catalog is I go through and I put a check mark or I highlight the items that I have bought. You see, I've got my little check marks there. That means with any luck at all, I won't order them again by accident because I happen to have forgotten that. See this one, I haven't marked that one off. Um, I ha I had forgotten that I'd actually bought it. So this one is another one that I bought. I've got those. I don't know about those embellishments. So that's what I am going to do when I finished with my um, my sharing my goodies with you. So I'm going to sit down with a nice cup of tea, go through my catalog, and see what else I'd like to order. So if you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful, then please go ahead, give me a little thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, perhaps you'll go ahead and do that as well. And I have nearly 500 videos that I can share with you on my YouTube channel. And I will look forward to sharing some of the projects that I make with my goodies. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you spending time with me. Bye-bye for now.